A very warm welcome back to Eureka Farms for episode 21 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Contracts are ceasing with immediate effect. We're up to 2,100,000. Field 3. I still. Oh, I seeded right up to the line, but oh, no, never mind. Field 3 and 7. No, 7 and 3. I've now got soybean in. For some reason, I thought I put canola in fields uh, two. But according to this, it's also soybean. I thought I'll have canola and soybean. They're both soybean. Anyway, so seven and three has now got soybean in, as is field two. Field two is ready to harvest. Field seven and three has just gone in. The grass is now fully grown, I think, across the board everywhere now. All the bits that I redid which is great so what i've decided to do is whiz through to the morning and hopefully that soybean is ready to go we'll buy harvester number six and then we'll get the harvest done on both those fields i'm also going to cut all of this grass i'm going to get it collected i'm going to put it into the silage clamp at the bga compact it um get it fermented and then we can sell all that but what I'm going to do first, as we go through the night, I have topped up all the feed from when I added the last 100 cows in. So up to 446 on there and 318. What I'm going to do now is add another 100 into the smaller of the two. So we'll be up to 418 and 446. And then we will be heading rapidly towards our 1000. So then by the morning, we should have an absolute load of manure, slurry. Actually, I might take a load of manure and slurry to buy a gas plant now to get the digestate on the go and we'll get paid at midnight it doesn't really matter either way around and then tomorrow morning we'll have a load more so that's what i'm going to do 100 more let that grow i'm going to probably cut the grass now and do it off screen i am considering with the money i've got buying a fourth mower you know <laughs> what is wrong with six harvesters four but you know what i'm gonna do it yeah let's just just do it i've got the money 380 grand what's 380 grand between friends let's buy a fourth one why not what yeah the money's there they're speeding everything up uh we're on brown and white okay There we go, 446, 418. So we're now up to 864. Mm. We're getting there, we're getting there. We'll see what we're at in the morning, and then maybe I'll top up. But what I need to do now is get the mowers going. While the mowers are going, I'm going to top up everything from my stores, which I've been backing up of our total mix ration our grass straw hay everything we need to to get the cows up to where they need to be because they are obviously they need a bit straw pellets total mix ration a bit of everything so we'll get those up to speed and i think yeah we'll be good to go i'm smiling there'll be another thing ticked off the list so when we get the sixth harvester that'll be a tick um you know i'll buy it now might as well buy it now. I won't be using it until tomorrow, but we'll get it. Why not? Now, again, I really must stipulate these large capacity things, all the stuff that's on here. This is on the previous version of this map. Um, Eureka Farms had, the last in the last update, all of the large capacity stuff was all removed. All the unrealistic machinery had to be taken out. So I know a few people have, have kind of tuned into this fairly late in the let's play and um are enjoying it and, and thank you to everyone who's still watching um I've, I've still people are asking me they look in the mods hub they're looking on the map and they can't find any of this stuff um and it's because it's on the previous version if you're on the newest version which you've literally just downloaded it's not going to be there unfortunately um but to be fair i'm not really other than the loading wagon the last few videos i haven't really used much along those lines oh that reminds me i know i'm five minutes in all i've done is bought some cows but let's have a quick look here 
that spreader uh, that was the what was it called the Euro the Euro spanned pack the OBE spreader the one that I did a video where it was spreading out 36 meters one side a broadcast cedar and 36 meters the other side one on the front one on the back that got an update the update was to realign the um, spread width it will still seed at 36 meters and it will still still seed pretty much to the speed of the vehicle which is amazing but it's now split 18 meters one side and 18 meters the other so it's not a 36 one side 36 the other so you can't get away with doing that 72 meter spread uh, unfortunately but still 36 meters is wider than the widest seed uh, the i'm sure the biggest ball go is 30.5 isn't it um, I know, again, not realistic. I know a lot of people are a bit kind of... The field does need to be ploughed or cultivated because, obviously, that doesn't touch the ground. It's a broadcast cedar. Um, well, I, I mean, I haven't tried it, but it's not a direct drill. It can't be because it doesn't touch the ground. But I've got it with the Sopima seed cart as well, so that kind of increases up to about 11,500 litres combined, I think, something like that. It works really well, um, but, again, not particularly realistic. But that that's not an, a Eureka Farms mod that's that's available in the mod hub i think it's in the description pretty sure it is so i'm going to go and grab my fourth mower get the mowers going then i'll sort the feed out for the cows and i'll see you tomorrow morning that's probably the best bet this is likely going to be the last episode if I hit my thousand cows, I've got my sixth harvester. That was one of my targets. I'm probably going to, well, I'll probably get about three and a half thousand, three and a half thousand, three and a half million litres of grass in the bunker silo. So I'm going to do a kind of combined fairly fast harvest with six harvesters. If I've got enough money, I could buy a seventh and run six and the seventh myself, maybe, don't know. That, that, I mean, that would be just... Oh, my mind is fried as it is. Uh, I'll take that back later. Let's get the mowers going first. Oh man, such a difference to Rasvet. You know, it's that small machinery, building up your money. I mean, as you do want to kind of start from scratch-esque kind of let's play. Running mower setups and that kind of thing of, oh yeah, I want to get, I want to get myself a Krona, you know, Big M at some point. I'm now running four. Oh, just makes me smile. Anyway, see you in the morning. Sleep well.
just gone two o'clock in the afternoon the next day and it's raining it started raining about three o'clock in the morning and it has not stopped so i'm not harvesting at the moment biogas plant though is done fermenting 3.6 million liters of grass and the grass has grown grown back again not completely but we're on our way i did get rid of all the manure from last night and all the slurry from last night and i think we made 25 grand at midnight we have at the moment got about 50,000 liters in there and 40,000 liters of slurry in there and a little bit of digestate at the biogas plant we've got a load of milk on hand we scroll across we are at 64,000 68,000 liters sorry and 78,000 liters 425 454 so we're at 879 not bad so I need to wait for the rain to stop next question is do I I haven't tried doing it with loading wagon someone said you can do it with the loading wagon or you used to be able to do it with the loading wagon so what I'm going to do take the manure over get rid of that we'll uncover the bunker silo I'm selling all of it I'm not keeping any of the silage this time all of it will be sold and then the double whammy of that will be that all the digestate the byproduct will then all be sold at our slurry and digestate point our Missy B cell point Field 7 slash 3 is ready to harvest as well. All soybean. So it's payout time. Well, that's got a little bit bumpy. That's weird. I didn't notice that before. Oh, I know why. It's because I made that mistake and ploughed, didn't I, past the edge. So actually, it's technically that bit there. It's driving over a ploughed field, although it's showing as the road. That's what it is. That's peculiar. Why is it doing that? So yeah, what I'll do is I'll uncover it and I'll try with the loading wagon because somebody said you can tip in front and you can sell way more even quicker. So I could potentially get rid of 3.5 million litres worth of silage in mere minutes. Now obviously we are nearing the end of this Let's Play and that's where this this kind of thing you know bunker silos of this size i'm used to doing it with conveyor belts and stuff like that and it's taking hours and hours and hours so i'm going to make the most of this because going back to that it's going to feel very weird now this is a this is a bucket that's on the previous version of this again I, you know, it's a hundred thousand liters this is not a mod it's not in the mod hub it's not available it was part of the map which unfortunately is not anymore so, you know, even if I did this with just this bucket, 100,000 litres each time, all right, it's 36 bucket loads, but that's still not going to take as long as you might think. I'm just thinking the digestate we're going to get off this is going to be absolutely brilliant. Okay, so what I'll do is drive up on top, see if I can get the rest of the cover off. That's why I tried to do this before with the loading wagon. It didn't like it because of the cover, so let's see if I can get up there. Come on. Don't get stuck. Yeah, okay. So will it let me... There we go. We've done it all the way, are we? Looks like it. Okay, let's grab the loading wagon and see if I can do 500,000 litres in one go. If I can't, doesn't matter. I'll just go back to doing the bucket. Bear with me, and then we're going to get this harvest done. I want to use the six harvesters. Let's see, shall we? Go inside, drop it down. It's 500,000.
This will be nuts if it does. <gasps> 500,000 litres. Look at the speed that's processing it. Like it's not even happening. Wow! I can't remember who it was that commented, and it was a while ago they commented. I thought, well, I've got no silage on hand at the moment. I think I just got rid of all the last amount that I had. Um, so whoever it was that said, because I, I assumed it would just have to go into the actual, you know, most of the times it does. Some biogas plants, it will allow you to tip in front for slurry, often manure sometimes, but normally you have to actually put the, the silage actually in. That's why you tend to use conveyor belts and buckets and stuff like that, but having the tip coming up just in front oh man are we going to clear 3.6 million litres out of a bunker silo in, in literally minutes Crazy times. But then that's what this has all been, hasn't it? Let's be honest. It's all been crazy times. I am in a bit of a dilemma. Thank you for all the comments on the last video um, about where we go next. A lot of people were very uh, sort of struck on Chellington. Don't know. Um, I've got a lot of people asking for subscriber contract. Let's play, but again, that's a real marmite. I, you know, it's trying to pick something. The one that I want to do, but also two that I know people are going to want to watch. And I have found and am finding seasons can be a bit marmite. Some people love watching the seasons. Let's play. Some people hate it. Um, if I do like the precision farming on Rasvet, some people are very take it or leave it. They're not, you know, and. It, it's a little bit the same as subscriber contracts. I do like doing them. I find it makes the Let's Play for me more interesting. It's a lot of work because going through and organizing and as my channel has grown, that prospect of subscriber contracts, when I mentioned doing a subscriber contract Let's Play, I get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments and emails and messages offering contract ideas and stuff from subscribers, which is lovely and it's amazing. And I, do, I honestly, I can't thank people enough when they do it, but the, the unfortunate knock-on effect of that is I can't do all of them. And then having to sift through, filter them all out, find the ones that will work on the storyline and a narrative to make it all kind of run smoothly and neatly, it, it does become a, quite a monumental task. So I think a subscriber contracts Let's Play would be run if I was only running one Let's Play because of the work involved in doing all of that but then a lot of people don't like it my kind of way of looking at those have always been that it's no different to doing contracts it, you know it's just contracts from subscribers I mean that that's the difference but like a, a, I suppose the contract situation at the moment if we go in and we look at the contracts that are available you've got plowing cultivating harvesting cultivating you do the job job done bang move on a subscriber contract will encompass everything. So if someone asks me for 100,000 litres of soybean and they're prepared to pay me X amount or give me something in exchange or a piece of machinery or whatever it might be or they want it delivered to a particular place or something like that doing that soybean involves every single step of the process preparing the field, liming, ploughing, fertilising, planting, harvesting then you know it's not one job so I can kind of see and often when I've got multiple ones running on a on a let's play it gets confusing to get to keep up with I totally understand that it's confusing enough for me to keep up with let alone if you're watching and if you have come into a, the let's play part way through like I did Geiselsberg um, I think other ones that I just subscribed contracts on it can be very 
confusing to get your head around if you start watching and there's something I don't know what's happening what's what what's he talking about plus the whole concept of subscriber contracts um, if you've never heard of them you're trying to work out what exactly is going on and whenever I've done a subscriber contract let's play um, they are all genuinely sent in by subscribers there'll be a bit of a backstory there'll be a company name or a farm name there'll be a contract they want me to complete or fulfill or help them out with there'll be a payment of some kind all of that I have to then work in and then what is a lot of fun happened when I've done those is people will play along on their own map incorporating what I've done for them on their own map which I think is brilliant it's, it's a kind of it opens it up um, but I understand why a lot of people don't like it so yeah again that's Marmite and I've kind of gone into a bit more detail on that it can be a bit Marmite-esque you either love it or you hate it so, yeah, I don't know. Um, this one's been a bit bonkers. Raspets, precision farming. Six Ashes was slash is. Uh, maybe going back to that, doing a couple of episodes here and there. Is seasons. Um, and then, it's not just that, it's then picking the map. <laughs> you know, what map do I do? A lot of people are saying Ravensburg has got so many extra things in it now, and it's, I mean, it was a cracking map. When I did the map tour, I really like it as a map. It's absolutely brilliant. And that's been updated two or three times since I did the map tour. And that's got a whole load of extra stuff, and people are raving about that as a map. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, honestly, really, at this point, I am a bit stuck. I'm not sure what to do. But as it's always the case, you know, I think for anyone that's starting their own channel, and I still have loads of people commenting saying they've started their own channel, they've been inspired to, thank you for my help, thank you for, or can I get off for advice, or one of the biggest things is, is that despite your human and natural urge to want to please everybody, and that, unfortunately, that's just human nature, you, you know, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you try to and like I'm doing now I'm, I'm talking about what where I'm gonna go next what map I'm gonna do how am I gonna tackle it it doesn't matter which way you go you aren't gonna please everybody and unfortunately that's just part and parcel I guess we are nearly this is absolute craziness I can't imagine how much digest we're gonna have because we stored most of it last time, didn't we? We sold about a million litres, but then we stored the rest the last time we did a, a bunker silo full. So I'm curious to see just how much digest date. And the beauty behind that being the, the money we're getting from digest date at the Missy B sale point is phenomenal. I see... I can't get over how blasé my mind's become with the fact I've just emptied 3.6 million litres of silage from a bunker silo literally in minutes and I've almost become a little bit like yeah, you know it's done, isn't it? Wow, okay Never lose that inner child Always be amazed If something's amazing, be amazed by it show your amazement never be afraid to hide that away don't hide away your, you know when people do things they go oh, you know i didn't know that oh, wow that's amazing people have a tendency to mock you know like oh you're an idiot because you didn't know that or what are you getting so excited about that for why shouldn't you if something's exciting and it's well be excited don't take the you know awe out of awesome if something's awesome be awestruck be you know I think as adults we have a tendency to kind of shy away from it because it's embarrassing, you know. Anyway. This should be the last load, I think. Has the rain finally stopped? The last few drips may be going. Am I going to have 100,000 left or something? Oh no. That's odd. Oh, I did have some a little bit extra. Didn't I? Okay, bunker silo is now empty. Turn it off, lift that up. P 
apparently the uh, commonly used vernacular is we are making bank I, I think is that what people say some people do we're making money I need to get that that's um, slurry tanker digestate slurry tanker over I want to see just how much we've got right harvest time once I've unloaded this 250,000 litres of sight I've got left in here. Do -do 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 -do. Right. Done. Stop the clock. <laughs> absolutely nuts absolutely nuts right thank you TNT for making me smile for making me every time I come onto this and done this let's play regardless of how anyone else feels about this let's play it's made me smile it's made me chuckle it's made you know it's kind of brightened up whatever I've been doing however I'm feeling I come on and it just I love it. So thank you for that. Massively. Okay. So Let's pop that there. Tanker is over here. Let's see how much digest that we've got. My harvesters, actually, we'll check them. No, we want this. You see all the yellow dots just below field two? That's my six harvesters. I tried to, I've tried to put, line them up fairly equally spaced. I want each one to hit the top of the field and turn right. I may have to control a little bit of that. And they will get that field done fairly quick. Then we'll shift everything to field seven and three. Put it left in there. Tiny bit. Close that. Yeah, then we'll um, get both those fields done. And for the first time, like I said before, because these fields are mine, I'm going to sell all of it. Regardless of the price, I'm going to go for the best price, regardless whether it's still climbing or whatever. And all of that is mine. It's not a contract. It's not contract and surplus. It's all money in the bank. Oh, that's a big old, uh, big old schlep. Do I need to open that? I'm not sure, but the trigger should come up about there. Let's get rid of that. Let's see what we got. Okay, that took a bit longer than I was hoping. Right. Let's see what we got, shall we? One million four hundred ninety-eight thousand five hundred eighty-two liters. Get in. Right. Well, might as well get a load of that. Um, oh man. So yeah, we are absolutely one hundred percent over that tipping point now. The money we're getting, the amount of milk we're getting every day, the amount of silage we're getting every day, slurry we're getting every day, uh, the. Um, manure we're getting every day I mean I can cut the grass every day and do this daily if I wanted to okay Let's see what's just paying out at the moment I haven't actually checked at the end of the day whatever I get is whatever I get I'm not overly uh you know i'm not waiting for the best possible price because i know i'm making money all over the place so that's all good there was something i was gonna my mind's gone absolutely blank there was something i was gonna sh show not show you talk to you about i made a note 
oh yeah, that was it. It was a message from James. I was going to give him a shout out, not for James. James messaged me. Uh, it was on Twitter about a company called Special Effect. And it's called The Gamers Charity, levelling the playing field for people with disabilities. Um, and he said it's made a massive difference to him. Um, part of what they do is uh, they convert consoles over for people with disabilities to make them more accessible and easier to use and allow people with disabilities to, to enjoy gaming. Um, so he just said, you know, would it be possible? And, and I had a look on, the, on, the, on their Twitter. Um, and it's, it's fantastic. It's incredible. It's such a, you know, if you're on Twitter, check them out. It's special effect. If I, if I remember, I don't always, I'm sorry if I don't, 55. That's probably one of the lowest prices I've had for this. Yeah, check them out on Twitter. Um, I'm not sure if they've got a Facebook page, actually. But yeah, UK-based charity. Um, have a look, because it's it's really, really cool what they're doing. Um, yeah, so special effects. Look them up. Look them up. Show them some love. And support. Right, harvesters. Let's get cracking. Start up. Drop it down. Hire a worker. Go. Like I say, I'm not sure if this basin's perfect, but it's um you know it's within a harvest of width. I will jump back into each one. <clears throat> may involve a little bit of tabbing here and there. Um just to get them to turn the right way at the end. Because I've got the field extended either side. When you look on the map, it looks like the one on the far right and the one on the far left isn't on the field. And that's because, yeah, the field is extended, so. This is so cool. Six harvesters. Mad. How many times have I said that in this, this episode? Okay. And where we go. All six rocking and rolling. We're going to be looking at, do you reckon, five? Five or six strips each, I guess. Which isn't going to be too bad. I need to go and grab the lorry with the trailer. I don't know how much I'm going to get off the field total. I reckon about 400,000 litres, maybe. Maybe more if we get more. Absolutely awesome. Price for soybean at the moment. At the moment, at the moment is um, the moment. Oh, it's not great, is it? Uh, I thought it'd be way higher than that. <clears throat> I'm sure last night was a one eight. Uh, I've got one three nine nine and climbing. One four three seven and dropping. Price for sunflower is higher at the moment. Right, let's just hit 1.4. Hopefully at the old grain mill that's going to carry on climbing. I, I want to sell at about 1.8. I may have to store this now. That's frustrating. I know I just said I'll sell it at whatever price it's at, but 1.4 does seem a little bit low. Right, work is going. <clears throat> what I need to do is go over to the far harvester. Not the furthest, but the second one in. Make the turn on that then each one should be getting to the end of the field as I've turned it, hopefully. And then I won't have a problem. Oh, man, it looks so cool with six harvesters running. <laughs> oh, dear. Like I said, I mean, I've said it so many times in this Let's Play, there are guys out there, loads of you out there, that have been doing big American maps. If you play on PC, you've got four times and 16 times maps and all sorts. And this is probably nothing new to you. You've probably been running, you know, Loads of harvesters, and it's not ever been a thing. Um, on console six is the most workers we can have. It's 
so I'll make the most of it. Excellent. Excellent. It's very weird. I've been having some strange things happening with my thumbnails at the moment. It's recording on my uh, PS5. And I'm getting 4K recording, like video recording. Unfortunately, my videos won't render to 4K on YouTube because my intro clip isn't a 4K intro clip. So oh, just because of that, they won't render to 4K. But the other weird thing is my thumbnails, every time I go take a picture, a screenshot, the resolution's terrible. And I've adjusted the resolution. I've, I've been in and out and I've been fiddling around thinking, well, if it's recording in 4K, so I thought well, what I'll do is I'll just record a bit and I'll take a screen grab from the recording. It's, but still, the resolution seems to be awful. I'm having real problems with my thumbnails. Um, yeah, and I didn't for a while, so I'm not quite sure what's happening. Somebody out there probably knows, has a better understanding of it all than I. And that's why, because block by an object? Where? Oh, is it me? Who's got by an object? Quick, quick, quick. I'm spending too much time mucking around. Go! No! I was taking too much time. Please, the other one. Turn the other way, turn the other way, turn the other way. Make my day, make me happy. Go on, the other way. Yes! So I've got to move the last one. <laughs> Small victories. Take them where I can get them. should all carry on the correct direction till we're done when I get to the end of the road I'll go and grab the lorry with the trailer and then we're ready to unload uh, obviously the lorry trailer I've got on the previous incarnation of this map is a million litre trailer so I can probably do this field and the next one and get it all in hopefully I'm really quite surprised about the digestate price I'm pretty sure I did a full load, was it yesterday or the day before, whenever, or the last episode. And got about, did I get 67 or 71,000? 55 seems a bit low. Slurry yard. What's it paying? Got the price for manure and slurry, but no digestate price. Hmm. Never mind. So, do I do it? Do I get a seventh harvester? and run the seventh one myself. Why in my head does that feel like it's showing up? I just, isn't it weird how your mind works? I'm like, no, why would I do it? No, I'm running six, that's a bit over the top. Cool.
at 12 minutes past 5 in the afternoon. The last of the digestate for the biogas plant has been sold. Every single scrap. I've sold all of the milk I had on hand and we're back up to 2,413,449. The harvest is complete, but I've been waiting for best price because the best price hasn't actually arrived yet. Silson at 1.5 is still climbing. I'm hoping for 1.8. If we get to 1.8, absolutely awesome. This actually needs cleaning out because I've just used it for digestate and that should have milk in it. Uh, what I was doing was taking both tankers, my water and milk one and my slurry digestate one. So one would be unloading, I'd go back and get the other one at 67,000 litres each time. It took a little while, but not horrendously so. Three things need to happen now. One, price needs to get to where I want it to be. I said it, I, it didn't matter, but I've changed my mind. <laughs> I want to get the best price I can for my soybean. So the price needs to hit the best it can. Two, our thousand cows, so I'm going to top those up now. And three, midnight, our payout from the biogas plant. And that'll be it. All the boxes checked. We will have done everything we intended to do. I intended to do everything I set myself as a target. And that'll be it. So what I'm going to do now is fill up. That's that one. And then all I'll do is get feed and top everything off. We've got everything we need in storage. So we should be at 500 on each. That's our thousand. I think, in all honesty, feed and everything's okay, water's okay, I just need straw in both. Now, obviously, if I was going to continue on now, if I wanted to continue on, I'd probably put, put a third pen down. So then I'd take maybe 50 out of each, put them in the third pen, that would then give expansion for reproduction in both of these, and then I'd get the third rolling and continue. But my target was a 1,000, it was always going to be a 1,000. Uh, how much... Well that's, well, that's one of my three things ticked off the list then. How much did I actually end up with? Not as much as I hoped I was going to get. I thought I'd get about 400,000 litres off a of field two on its own. I ended up with 4,000... No, 4,000. <laughs> 400,000. 4,000. I hope I get one there. 434,601 in total. But then to be fair, soybean yields low. So that's actually not a bad result. Harvester number six can now go back into storage. They all need a little bit of repair, a bit of preventative maintenance. So I will next see you when the price peaks for soybean and we'll sell that. And then whichever comes first at midnight for the power for the biogas plant. Um, and that'll be it. While it's still daylight, just want to take a moment that everything we've achieved two complete resets of the map for various different reasons <laughs> it happens it's not a problem is it the factory's issue being what it was where we started out to where we are now three fertilizer units one lime unit one massive cedar four mowers six harvesters a thousand cows Three ploughs. Oh, did I, did I even mention the three ploughs? I bought two extra ploughs. Because I had a couple of ploughing contracts. And I thought, if I have two ploughs running on whatever vehicles, and then the third one I run myself, we can get the ploughing contracts done even quicker. I, f I forgot to even mention that. That was a... What did I... I can't remember. It was an episode or two ago. Uh, let's close that up. But I have honestly enjoyed every minute of this. The resets, the redoing it all. And I have put some hours in. Like I said, you know, off camera when I've done loads and loads of contracts and I've shown you a, lot, a, a snippet of, or a screenshot of like 9, 12, 15, however many contracts on one screen. 
they still take time, even though if you're doing fast farming or you've got multiple harvesters, or it takes a while. I want to thank a, a massive thank you to DJ for allowing me to work for his R&D department and um, for TNT, for the map. Now, I, yeah, like I said, this, obviously this is the second or the third version. The final version is what probably most people are now clicking on to. But thank you for just, I've just had an absolute blast. It's been absolutely brilliant. It's been a nice, light-hearted step away from what I normally do and I've loved every minute of it. So they're done. Uh, yeah, straw, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to put top their straw up and then I'll, like I say, I'll see you either at midnight or when the best price uh, hits for soybean. And we'll see where we end up financially. Oh, my lorries are on the two tankers, aren't they? I'll use this. TLX 2020. We're there. 1,638 is the best price we're getting at the moment. It is now plateaued. So, at 738, let's unload the soybean. Oh, yes. Seven hundred eleven thousand nine hundred and sixty-eight, and that, like I say, that wasn't even. I'd, I'm sh pretty sure the day before it was sitting at one eight, and I thought, oh, that's brilliant. When I get, you know, when, when I get to sell it, when I do the harvest, one eight is going to be amazing. But that's not to be sniffed at, is it? One harvest off of two fields, seven hundred eleven thousand. Awesome. So the next thing then is midnight. We'll see what we get from the biogas plant. And this whole thing, I could just roll on and on now. Of course I could buy more fields up, do bigger harvests, I, you know, I could keep going. I'm at maximum harvesters I can set with a worker, but I could add another one in, like I said before, if I was going to run one and then six workers. And the process rolls around and around after this. Fantastic. 1,305,268 from the biogas plant. You know what I'm going to do now? Is pay off the loan. I completely forgot about that. Let's clear it. 250,000 was what we had left. That leaves us completely square. Done. Loan paid off. 3,857,309 in the bank. The cows are going to continue we've got another 23,000 23,000 on each of milk slurry and manure and it rolls on and on but that's it from Eureka Farms I hope you've enjoyed the series I hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do Thanks for watching.